take it easy, don't be so rough. No, I won't take it easy. I will never take it easy. Should I give Raise the Dead HP ups? I think I should. Maybe we should give it Raise the Dead stat boosters. Hmm. Maybe I should give it an HP up. You know what? Let's do it. I mean, these are worth a lot of money, but. There we go. I mean, it got one extra HP. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it's gonna grow a little better with that. All right, we made it. Where is everybody? Oh well. Huh? Oh hi, little boy. Didn't no one tell you to stay out? Nope. I killed everybody. <laughs> Just tell her that. Nope. Everyone's dead. And you're like, oh fuck. We got a problem. Uh, well, now I kind of wish I had, uh, George Lynch out. That'd be nice. George Lynch would actually be really helpful here. That's alright. Moon Child and Raise the Dead should be able to take care of this. Fight the Pelipper, Shadow Ball the Electrike, call it a turn. That means we can't get stacked. Getting stacked sucks. I really hate it. It's so annoying. So that's why I'm like... Just not gonna use contact moves on it. There we go. Two shot the Pelipper, very nice. And Pelipper flinched, let's go. Pelipper lost its turn, excellent. I didn't do jack and shit. Yeah, this thing really needs a fucking shadow tag, it really does. That skull really needs a fucking shadow tag right now. There we go. Pelipper's hella dead. And then this electric will also be hella dead. Spiro. Hmm, how suspicious. It's also a Shadow Pokemon. I considered using Spiro in this playthrough. I win, no. Not because it's bad, just no. I have other ideas. I have other sillier ideas that I feel like fill a little bit more of a goofy niche that might be kind of funny. Look at that, Raise the Dead's already level 30. Very nice, very nice. So... Hmm... Should I just quick attack it? If I use a tract on it, it won't have much turn. But I also don't really have anything to hit it with, so... I guess quick attack it is. And then I'll just call it. Of course, I'll just call Raise the Dead. I'll just call him. And then we'll just whittle it down with a quick attack. There we go. Everyone's been pretty good so far, I would say. Everyone, all three of my mods have been pretty good. They're very good at capturing Shadow Pokemon, because uh, they're all really tanky, and they don't do instantly killing damage, which means they just literally just make Shadow Pokemon catching a little easier. That's why, I don't, that's why I'm like, I could do a playthrough of, like, remote, of mostly tanks. I think that's okay. I think I could figure out a way to make it work, and shockingly enough, it's been working out pretty well so far. I haven't been struggling too hard. I really thought this would be a little tougher, but I keep forgetting how kind of easy this game is. Just because the... A lot of the... A lot of these guys don't like using evolved stuff. And even then, I would still say, even when we get to the key lair... I keep mentioning key lairs because it's a really big difficulty spike and people actually start using somewhat evolved Pokemon. Oh! Hey, you just killed that girl! I sure did! Alright. Fault... Fault... Faultly. More like... I was gonna say fatality, but like, I don't know. Stantler could be trouble. Stantler could be a little trouble, but I think we can... I don't think it has Odor Sleuth. Unless it does, and that's annoying, but it's alright. That means, uh, Raise the Dead is gonna be purely... 
we're gonna be uh, using Helping Hand instead, but we'll just bite the Chimeco. I actually will Helping Hand to make sure that Chimeco dies instantly. I think Stanler has a couple of other annoying things, but I think for the most part we should be okay. Yeah, Chimeco's pretty dead. There we go. Very good. Very good. There's Grimer. So I I also was going to use Grimer originally. Um, but it didn't learn Toxic naturally. As I said, the Toxic TM was like no good. So it just kind of became like tough to figure out how I wanted to build this team. But I decided to say, fuck it. I will just use tanks. <laughs> like, I'll just use tanks. That's fine. I'll just use tanks to, to get through the game because, you know what, as I said, they're actually good at capturing Shadow Pokemon because they don't do as much damage as Sweepers. And some of them have support moves to buff each other, which is actually quite nice. Is that Body Slam? No. Shadow Hold? Eh, that's fine. These guys are... they can stay. Uh, you know, fight the Stantler, but Shadow Ball the Grimer. I think that's fine. I think that'll be okay. There we go. Get rid of that Stantler. There we go. Maybe lower its special defense a little bit. No, okay. Oh, it only has Shadow Blitz. Okay, that's not too scary. I mean, it did a little bit of damage, but yeah. Uh, Muck was definitely an interesting idea. Just because Muck actually does kind of hit hard. He actually hits pretty damn hard for his typing. Um, but, you know. Kind of just went no. Not on, again, not on purpose of like, oh, he's not, he's too good. But like, he's just like, eh. Falls just as late as my Duskull here. Um, shows up way later than my Dust Skull. Just kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Also, Dust Skull died, so that's a shame. That's right, George Lynch is back in here. He's ready to party. Haven't really used both these guys together in a while, so. About time they reunited. They haven't done it all town, really. The whole time we've been here, they actually have never really both fought together again. That's right, neither of them are earning XP, so it's not like it's getting out of hand. But thankfully we have a time we have some uh, time to heal. I'm gonna need some revives. Thankfully there's revives in this town, I think. Oh. Mirror radar was lost. Sphiel could be purified. Ooh. Very good. Very good, actually. There we go. I might as well seal up now. And then we'll figure out what we want to do there because I could technically get an interesting circle. At uh in the purify chamber. Get busy. crap. Actually, he's... Okay, he's not too bad, but... I think he would just about evolve here, funnily enough. Alright, let's edit this. Alright, let's see. Alright. 
It's about the same. That's less. Which is kind of funny. You know what? We'll put him here. That works. Oh wait, we need to put a, a new one in here. Uh, who's next? I might as well put the ball toy in here. Might as well do that. There we go. Problem is, the minute we leave, uh, the other guy's probably gonna be ready to go. Which could be annoying. Might as well just go back to Finnac and buy some revives. Maybe by then, uh, the other Pokemon will be ready to go. I forgot why I put it in their spinner rack, I think. We'll probably be ready to go. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, Moonshot's still only level 30. That's fine. Alright, this, this is the Pokemon Center. There we go. Need the shop. How many revives do I have? Oh wait, this shop doesn't sell revives. Okay. Well, I might as well get three more of these. Got three of these. Buy two more Ultra Balls. Five of those. I'll just buy like another... I'll buy ten more of these. And got a Premier Ball. There we go. That seems good. Um, how many revives do I have? That's a big question, because I'm already going to need them. Four. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to require a big, juicy save. Thankfully, we got some Pokemon that are going to be able to hold their own. And there was a Spinarak, yep. <laughs> right, we're about to face the boss, of course. Forget it, can't have a tapes, you can't do this to press. We're pretty a rather hard nose, I must say, but I wouldn't... Ah, whatever. Fuck you. You can't po post that shit to the public. It'll, it'll look bad. You're making me look bad. Anyways, this guy is trying to become governor of Ore, which is kind of weird because I've never met that person. Yeah, you handle this. All right, kid, playtime's over. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I love how everyone's like freak. Like everyone should be freaking out. Like, how is this ten-year-old kid getting past all of us? I don't understand. How is this possible? This shouldn't be passable. The moon child should get to like level 31 here pretty easily. Um, just helping hand. See if we can kill the Graveler in one hit. Because Graveler doesn't have great special defense. Um, but he's also pretty evolved, so that he might he might take it here. He might take it like a champ. Nope. Goodbye, Graveler. All right, Umbreon should get 31. There we go. Moon child's now level 31. Very good. Raise of Dead's going up in levels as well. Gulpin. Yeah, it's not very threatening. This Hoot Hoot is like no threat right now. I might have Hypnosis, which could be kind of annoying, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, I should just double up on the Gulpin. Should be faster than it. Growl. Oh, fuck. Well, I should have helping hand. I should have done helping hand with the skull. Great. Now Raise the Dead can't kill anything. 
That Razor Dead has to be a fucking support bot again. There's no way Sculpa dies now. Yep. Oh my god, fuck this piece of shit. Okay. Fine. Eat that. You know what? You know what? Take that up the ass, why don't you? Take that up the ass. Let's do it. Let's take it up the ass. Do whatever you want. I don't really give a shit. That's alright. Scorpion dies today. Race of Dead's gonna fucking kill it. And he did. That was a mediocre job, but that's alright. We'll just do whatever else we need to do to it. Alright, there's the seal. So this is the fucker I mentioned early game with Vaporeon. Um, this thing has the Mystic Water. Uh, Dugong is an interesting Pokemon. Also considered using it. Because I've never used a Dugong before. Never raised one, so... It's definitely a, uh, an intriguing case. Uh, I don't want to confuse it. But I can't hit it with, uh, with, with Raise of Dead, so I'll just... I don't know, I'll just call Raise of Dead. <laughs> There's really nothing else for Raise of Dead to do. I, I should I should be switching out, but like I don't want all the XP siphoned out of him. He needs to get to a Dust Clops as fast as possible, so... He needs to get to level 38, which is quite a while away still. It's quite a ways away. Uh, quick attack. Uh, quick attack helping hand, I think, is the right move here. See, I'm probably not gonna upload a single episode of this till I actually just beat the game. Because I'll technically just upload this whenever the fuck I feel like. Um, because I still want to finish off some other LPs on the, G on the other drive first. Um... Keep doing that. Let's actually find damage. That damage is fine. And then we could just heal. And then we could just heal. Yeah, seal's shockingly tanky. Wow. The seal is shockingly tanky. Quite surprised. Oh, wait, I realize why we're doing so little damage. We got growled. That's why. That's why we're doing so little damage. Uh, one more quick attack should do it. That was a crit. That's, that's super annoying. Okay, well, quick attack, and then this turn will heal. Um... We'll heal Dust Skull for right now. And then next turn we'll catch it and then heal Umbreon. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Because we kind of want to be prepared because we're going right into another battle after this. So we kind of need everyone to be already fully healed and ready for the next battle. Ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Alright, raise your help at 36, and then use... Ah, I'm gonna save the Great Ball, so I'm just gonna use a Pokeball on it. I think it'll catch. I am confident that it'll catch. I'm somewhat confident. Not a huge amount, but I am somewhat confident. Wow, I really thought that was gonna work. That's alright. We'll just heal if we need to, because... Yeah, they, that's not doing much to everybody. Ah, uh, well. Duskull's taking a bit of damage. Hmm. Well, I'll just use a potion on the off chance... On the off chance that we catch it this turn. If not, I could just send in a bunch of Shadow Pokemon instead. I'll probably do that next turn. If I don't catch it, but I did, so it's okay. It's okay. We didn't waste too many resources on catching this thing. And we still have our great Nultra Balls in case we need a... In case we're having issues with the boss's Pokemon, because he also has a Shadow Pokemon, and it's also annoying. 
I think it only has one, though. I don't think we start seeing two Shadow Pokemon until we get to the Key Lair. Oh, I, I didn't film. Sorry. I have no mercy for everyone, even a child like you. Yeah, this guy's actually quite the difficulty spike for a lot of people. Understandably so. He's actually quite tough. Look at that and a Quagsire. Actually fully evolved Pokemon at this point in the game. That could get a little tricky. And let's see. I don't want to handle this. I think could few. Uh, who's who's actually more threatening, Lantern or Quagsire? I'm actually gonna say Lantern's more threatening. So, but I could just double confuse right here, actually. Shockwave. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Quagsire's good. Oh no, Quagsire's really slow. Wow. Okay, so we got both of our Confuse Rays off. There we go. And then Moonshot's gonna bite, and then we're gonna Shadow Ball the Lantern. Kinda hoping we flinch the Lantern now. There we go. And then I'm kind of hoping we just get a special defense drop here with Shadow Ball. There we go, yes! Now everything's coming all together. Oh yeah, this is all coming together. Ice Punch? Oh, you're trying to freeze me, you piece of shit! You're trying to freeze me! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Oh my god! Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. That's... Uh, I hate that. Every time. Oh, that crit could have been way nicer earlier or whatever. I, I can't English properly. That would have been a really nice crit earlier, you piece of shit. Oh, my God. That's so irritating. I swear. Oh, my God. Locking, of course. Ice punch goes through. Should we focus our resource? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh. Okay. I'm actually going to bite the Lunatone here. And then I'm just going to Shadow Ball Quagsire. Why not? I don't think Bite's going to kill Lunatone. That's good damage. And then I'm just going to use Ultra Ball on it. I'm not playing around. This thing... This thing's annoying. It already got stupid weather off. And he still has an annoying cast form, too, that he can use. Stay confused. There we go. Don't get a turn. There we go. Lose your turn. Perfect. Lose your turn. So it's kind of hoping for a spadef drop, though, but it's all right. Can't ask for everything, so I'm gonna just go to fucking Ultra Bolt right away. Because I am not playing around. I'm not gonna let this thing have another fucking turn. I'd rather it not. It's already knowing it set up its fucking uh, weather for, um, for Cast Form to do its thing, so. Problem is, if we still lose this battle, it could be a bit of a problem, but we still have our lives. It's okay. There we go. Quagsire's down. Now next is uh, Matang, I believe. I think that's his last Pokemon, is Matang. There we go. Uh, we should be able to double up on that and kill it. But Cast Form may kill Dust Skull here. Razor Dead might be killed. That could be a problem, but. We still have our other Pokemon, shockingly enough. Yeah. Actually, I think this is fine, so we can bite and Shadow Ball the Batang. It might have been smarter to do a, a double team, but... I, or a uh, helping hand, but... 
Yeah, I think I would have done way more damage. Icy Wind. This piece is just still trying to freeze me. Oh no, he's trying to lower my speed, that piece of shit. Never mind, he's just trying to lower my fucking speed. That's what he's doing. Hey, that means Batang now outspeeds Duskull. Great. Yep, it's double. There's Metal Claw. Yeesh. I think Raise a Dead is kind of dead, but it's fine. Maybe he can get this thing to get a Spadep drop. So Umbreon can actually guarantee kill it. Damn it. Well, this weather might help a little bit. Time to switch, uh, Duskull out. Actually, Raise the Dead should be able to survive this weather. There we go. Just so Raise the Dead doesn't get its happiness lowered. I would like to keep it a little happier. I'm gonna send in this thing. I think this thing has the Amulet Coin, funnily enough. Amulet Coin's a really good item. Makes you more money! I like money. But to be fair, because of the Coliseum Challenges, you can already kind of make unlimited money. That's fine. These Pokemon are only here just to take damage. See? That's all they're here for. Uh, you know what? Let's send George Lynch in and... ...try to kill this cast form. Because this bite might just kill. There we go. There we go, perfect. So after this, with the experience share, which would definitely help out, um, which will definitely help out our dust goal. Level up quicker. There we go. And then just fucking beat the crap out of this thing. Let's do it. Let's beat the shit out of it. Maybe poison? Ah, no, I think Bite should finish it off. Alright, Weather Ball's gonna hit really hard because it's a shadow focus one. Yes, they actually did add a shadow element, which is kind of funny. Because uh, it affects all weather, including Shadow Sky, which is the uh, weather effect. There we go. Get out of here, Cast Form. Get out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, no! Got 2800 bucks. Thank you, sir. Not a single party member lost. Well, do we even count the Shadow Filler Pokemon that, we're, that we have our party? Do we even count them? Uh, that's the way he runs away. Thank you. You kept him from taking our video tapes. We got some explosive footage. Name's Marcia. Yep, we know you're Marcia. We know. There's a silver lining in this. We managed to capture your heroics on tape. Great. We did, didn't we? Heh <laughs> Yep. You bet I did. Got everything on tape this time. Okay, we need to rush back to Pyrite and get this news to air as soon as possible. Let's meet again. Thank you for everything. And she's... <laughs> that was funny. Her shoulder was still in there. Oh, yeah. Poor an item ahead. Some on the floor. There's some shit on the floor. It's the elevator key. We need the elevator key to open the fucking elevator door. Oh, let's also get ourselves some items. So this is actually some good shit. Got a peepee -pee up. That's good. That's a great item, actually. It's not a peepee -pee max, but it's pretty good. And yes, 12-year-old me was also laughing at that name back in the day. That's Ice Beam. That's really good. We're going to use it on certain somebody. If, if we feel like he's an app party member. If not, it'll just sit in our inventory, which... Normally would make me very sad to just have ice beams just laying in my fucking inventory with no uh, with no stuff. Got a water stone. Don't.